Pityriasis rosea is the topic for this video. And this is a rash that occurs in young people. On average, the age of the patient will be between 10 and 35. And female patients are more common than men. And it is thought to have a viral etiology and most likely human herpes virus and in particular human herpes virus 6, 7, and 8. Symptoms include the following. The rash will begin with something known as a herald patch, and this is usually an oval shape, anywhere from 2 to 10 centimeters on the patient's trunk or arms. And then later, this will progress to rose-colored oval papules and this usually happens within seven maybe ten days or so and these papules and plaques can have a scaly and slightly raised border and will be pruritic they will be very itchy and sometimes the rash can show a very distinct distribution known as a Christmas tree like pattern so I'll show you some photos now. So here's a photo of what is known as the herald patch. So as you can see, it's a relatively large oval finding on the trunk, anywhere from 2 to 10 centimeters. Here's another photo of a herald patch. And this can later progress to the full rash, which is illustrated in this photo. So as you can see, these are rose-colored oval papules. And although it's not extremely obvious, they do sort of resemble that Christmas tree type pattern. Here's a really nice diagram that puts everything in perspective. So Pityriasis rosea is a rash that has oval papules and plaques and initially begins with something known as a herald patch so you can see that here on her back and then roughly one to two weeks later it progresses to the full rash which kind of looks like the distribution of a Christmas tree so here's a picture of an actual Christmas tree and they've shown that as a comparison and as I mentioned earlier it's thought to have been caused by a virus, in particular human herpes virus. And it's mostly seen in female patients that are between the ages of 10 to 35. Diagnosis of this rash is really just clinical by observation. There's really no tests uh, that are needed. However, if the palms and soles are affected, it is important to test for syphilis because the rash that's associated with syphilis also affects the palms and soles and can therefore be very similar to pityriasis rosea. And you would do that by checking the RPR, which is a test called rapid plasma reagion. Treatment of pityriasis rosea involves treating the itch, which is antipruritic therapy, and there's several choices. There's hydrocortisone, there's hydroxyzine, and there's also doxepin. You can also use acyclovir for about seven days. And in most cases, this rash will go away in about five weeks. So now let's take a look at a few clinical vignettes. A 24-year-old male who has just moved to town for a new job presents to your office with a two-week history of rash. His previous medical records are not available. The physical exam reveals pink scaling papules and plaques on the trunk and proximal aspect of the arms and legs. You suspect pityriasis rosea. To complete the diagnostic evaluation, you should order Normally, there's no testing required, but if the rash resembles 
syphilis, and in particular the palms and soles are affected, and in this patient they're describing that the arms are affected, then it is important to test for syphilis, and you do that by checking a rapid plasma reagent. Which of the following is associated with a herald patch? So they've given you a photo of it, and as we learned in this video, the name of the rash is pityriasis rosea. A 27-year-old female patient developed an area of redness on her trunk while visiting a friend in Toronto, Canada last week. The rash has progressed to include the area shown on her back, and the patient says it itches. She recalls feeling somewhat tired and achy once she arrived in Toronto, but attributed this to jet lag. She denies any other systemic symptoms. Your exam reveals multiple oval scaly plaques on her back. Of the following, which one is most consistent with this patient's history and exam? So this is a patient that presents with these oval uh, pink scaly patches on her back and of the answer choices listed pityriasis rosea fits the best.